Today, we're going to be talking about the flex direction property and how you can use it to create the responsive layouts. All right, so let me show you an example. So we have here a couple of buttons, but you may also have maybe an input field and a button. And on the smaller screens, uh, you want each one of these elements to take the full width available. And then at a specific breakpoint, you want them to have their auto size. So there is a, a way to do so real uh, um, easily, real quick, using flex direction. So let me show you how. Let's start by creating a couple of buttons. So here is the first one. Now I'm using a, a Kodi frame theme. So this is why you already have the style for the buttons, but you can follow along even though you're not using Kodi frame. So here are my buttons. Now we were saying before, we want these buttons to take the full width um, on uh, smaller screens. And now because we are working mobile first, we can do that uh, right here. So display flex and then flex direction column. Now when you set flex direction equal to column, you are distributing your flex items along the Y axis, so from top to bottom. Now we want to take care also of the spacing in between these elements. Now at this moment, the gap property for Flexbox is not supported yet. So we're going to we're gonna do this. We go, we're going to select each one of the flex items, so the direct children, and we're going to set a margin left equal to 0.5 M. And we're going to do the same for the margin bottom. Now we're going to copy this, paste it here, and use negative values instead. Now we are not uh, targeting specific uh, elements. For example, we are not targeting the last child and setting a margin top equal to uh, 0.5 M because we want this to be customizable. So we may have multiple elements and with this uh, technique that I just showed you, you can have as many elements as you want and you are still going to see this gap in between the elements. And it's going to work uh, um, even, even when we change the layout later on. So let me remove these additional buttons here. Okay, now, media, min width, let's say 30 rem. 30 rem, which is about 480 pixels. So we want to target the group of buttons and uh, change the flex direction. Uh, so from column to row and change. Now, as you can see, actually, let me bring up the developer tools in Chrome, right? So as you can see, now we have the buttons taking the full width uh, and then past the, this breakpoint, so past the 30 RAM, we have them taking their auto width and we still have the gap in between them. Now, if you are using a Kodi frame, you don't need this. You can actually use Kodi frame utility classes to do the same. So we can set here flex and then flex column and then gap gap small and uh, this way we start from this version here so the version where the buttons take the full width you can change this to gap xs right and then we can change the flex direction at a specific breakpoint using using the flex uh, row at excess for example because now i want to target the excess breakpoint but you could use for example at um, small medium or wh whatever breakpoint you want to target and you have the same result so full width to auto width that's all and uh, thanks for watching